Hi guys, in this video, we will talk about how to sell photos online and make money. Now, you don't need to be a professional photographer to make money selling photos online. You can be an amateur photographer with the dream of making a living with your hobby of photography and this video can help you get started. Now, if you are decently good, understand photography and have a phone with a decent camera or a DSLR, you can still make money with these ideas I'm going to discuss in just a bit. Now, we will go over everything you need to know about how to sell photos online and make money. So stay with me till the end because if you do, you can immediately start taking the steps and start making money in the coming weeks. Now, before we move on, comment below and let me know if you are a photographer or it's just your hobby and what would you do if you could make money online by selling photos. Now, for those of you who are new to this channel, I am Chavi, owner of Work From Home blog, Mrs. Daku Studio. We make videos each week on working from home and making money online. So take a moment and hit the red icon below and subscribe to my channel. So let's get started. Now, the first thing first, what kind of photos are we talking about? So you can take photos of literally anything. So when we talk about stock photos, you're talking about anything that is object, places, room, plants, animals, clothes, nature, yourself, etc. It could just literally be a photo of anything. It could be a setup of your office as well. Now, stock photography is essentially a large bank of images that businesses can purchase a license for use. When they purchase, you get a commission through the website that you are using. Now, before starting your search, it is important to consider your need as far as licensing and pricing of your photos. Now, each company, each website or an app has their own licensing terms, which you may or may not like. So there are different types of licenses that you can offer to your customers, such as rights managed or royalty free. Now, these licenses can also be extended for commercial use, which is another consideration that you should take into account when deciding your pricing because commercial licensing are priced higher. Now, if you want me to go in depth into this side of selling photos online, comment below and let me know. I will do another video because it is a little complicated and it definitely deserves a video of its own. So the next question is where to sell photos online. Now you have a lot of options, lots of options. The best way to make most money from selling photos online is to choose apps and websites that are non-exclusive. That means you can upload and sell the same photo on multiple websites and apps, which means more exposure and higher chances of selling your photos. Now, your first option is 500px. It was launched in 2009 and is a leading network for photographers with millions of members worldwide. If the photo you send to 500px are approved for their collection, you can earn up to 60% of the royalties on your photos. Now it is free to use and there is a paid version of this app as well. However, the downside of having the free subscription is that you can only upload seven images per week. Now the second one is Gora Images. It is free to use and how much you can make from this app depends upon the number of stars that you have accumulated on the platform. Now as you get better, you get higher ratings and you achieve a higher rank. The higher rank means higher earnings. Now you can also participate in sponsored contests on this platform and win prizes and earn money by selling photos. You can resell the same picture to other businesses as well, which makes it a great deal. The third one is Dreams Time. The contributing photographers can receive between 25% to 50% of the revenue share. You can get an extra 10% bonus if you have an exclusive contract with them. These exclusivity rights can be from one to three years. Now, if you join Dreams Time as an exclusive contributor and don't sell your photos to anyone else, you can get up to 60% of the revenue share for all the sales. The fourth one is IEM. At IEM, you retain the copyright to your images and earn 50% of the commission if your photo sells. Their lowest license is $20, so you would make a minimum of $10 if your photo sells. Now, IEM is a non-exclusive marketplace as well, so you can also put up the same photos on multiple other websites that we're talking about. The fifth one is Fope. Once your pictures are uploaded on Fope, they become available on Fope market to millions and millions of buyers. The next one is Shutterstock. We all have heard about it. As a Shutterstock contributor, you can earn up to 20 to 30% of whatever your images earn. You can make money through selling your photos here at 25 cents and the payout go up to $120 for custom images. Another one is Snapwire. 
you can earn 50% commission through marketplace sales. If you sell a photo through a challenge or a request on this platform, you can earn a 100% commission. At Snapbio, you can earn points to upgrade your level. Earning points help contribute significantly to increasing your visibility and attracting photo buyers on this platform. Now, besides this, there are many more platforms like Stockimo, 2020, Clashhot, Deposit Photos, Adobe Stock, Elami, Etsy, Photomoto, Crest Stock, Snap for You, Photo Shelter, and Tour Photos. I will link to all of these in the description box below. While deciding which uh, picture app to use, take into consideration which apps or site focus on the genre of your pictures, exclusive or non-exclusivity of the agreements, complete rights versus right to resell your pictures, percentage of the commission that you will be earning, amount that you pay to use the app services if any, your next step should be to create an account on the best apps and websites to sell photos. You may have to upload a few pictures initially and wait for them to review it and approve you before you can actually start selling photos on these platforms. Now there is one pro tip that I want to give you is to keep an eye on trends and holidays. You must keep in mind that most businesses plan their content three to four months in advance. So be proactive and click some Christmas pictures in summer, click summer pictures much before that. Now I talk about this a lot more in detail about how to sell photos online and make money in my blog post on my blog, Mrs. Daku Studio. So ensure that you check out the first three blog posts that I'm going to be linking in the description box below to get all the details that you need. Now this is it for today. I hope you liked the video. Please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out a lot and I will see you next week. Ta-da!